What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and the final day of our Monaco Top Marks adventure. And it is now time to pack up the True Blood AMG GTS and head on the road four and a half hours to Bologna where I'm gonna be meeting up with Sam from Seen Through Glass in his True Blood Jaguar F-Type Coupe V8 R. I always get all of those words mixed up. Anyway, the reason that I am a day late and have been slightly delayed is because I had a chip and a big crack in my windscreen on the AMG, which I have had fixed down at Mercedes Monaco. We are now ready to go. I've got my bags ready to get packed. I'm gonna show you guys just how big the boot space is on this car with my suitcase in it. And then we're gonna jump in the car and head on one of the coolest motorways, probably in Europe. gentlemen the second or actually no the third part of our European April 2016 road trip begins in a fashion no one was expecting I am driving by myself on arguably the coolest motorway you could ever drive on it is amazing you've got the sea to your right or the left depending on which way you look at it and we actually took this exact road into Monaco from Brescia and Cars and Coffee. And because I didn't vlog that day, that was all on my PJW Snaps Snapchat, I thought, why not vlog the journey? Because there are some beautiful scenery, it's gonna be a pretty chilled drive. I haven't got Sam in front or James behind or whichever way we were driving. And I can pretty much take my own pace. And because I didn't show you guys this road on the way in because it was at night time, Let's show you just how epic some of the views are here. And as quick as a click of a fingers, we are in Italy. This journey is four and a half hours and just over 450 kilometers, which I have no idea what that means in miles, but I've got 310 miles in my fuel tank. So let's hope I get there on one tank. We are driving Monaco to Bologna, to the home of Lamborghini, which I'm very, very excited about. Sam has already arrived and told me he's already seen a couple of hurricanes, hurricane spiders, and all sorts of exciting stuff. So I'm very excited about going to the home of supercars for the first time. Never been to Marinello, never been to Bologna. I'm leaving a... Shut up. I'm leaving a little bit later than scheduled. And the reason being, well, there's a... Well, the one fundamental reason was that my car didn't have a windscreen until probably about one o'clock this afternoon whilst Mercedes Monaco made sure that my car was fit, safe and healthy to drive. It was a real pain when I had that little crack and I didn't notice it until it started to split my entire windscreen, which was, yeah, not ideal, which meant that I couldn't drive it as much as I would have liked during top marks, but I think that was uh, quite a good thing because there was so much police and so many people getting pulled over, like Tim, for making a lot of noise. So for, if I had my Lamborghini, that would have been a very expensive week to drive my car. And uh, luckily, I didn't drive my car too much. But when I did, it was fantastic. So much fun to drive around town. Had a bit of a tail happy moment around the Fairmont as well, which was quite a nice experience. And this road is just incredible. There are tunnels after tunnels after tunnels. And I think this is the one place that I would have liked to have my Lamborghini just right now, cruising by myself, going at my own pace, but having so many tunnels to just blast through. And we come to the first Italian toll booth, 
just after this tunnel, which I will show you just how much of a pain it is for right-hand drive cars to get to go through tolls. This first bit is purely to get a ticket. And you have to get as close as possible to the left. Bearing in mind this car is very wide and I've owned it for about two weeks. I still don't know how wide this car is. Steep belt off, car into park, other side window down. Get out of your seat. Get a nice view of my bum. Into drive, seat belt on, barrier up. Go, go, go. <laughs> thunder both in front of me and behind I've got the exhaust note but I've got the bi turbo V8 just rumbling right in front of me it's an incredible experience to drive this car and I'm just cruising at what the speed limit says it is and I've just got a lovely little rumble I'm doing two and a half thousand rpm and as soon as I put my foot down yeah it's epic it's been a long time since I've done one of these videos just driving chatting to you guys and basically catching up so let's start with Top Marks Monaco and the videos that were on Supercars of London. And I was frustrated more than anything with the trial and error that I had to put up with with my camera equipment on the entirety of this trip. Wind noise, quality, and overall editing capabilities. Because we're working to such tight deadlines, filming throughout the day and then editing for it to go live the following day. It is quite time consuming just doing all of the filming. There was one day where I car spotted from 9 a.m. till 9 p.m. It was a 12 hour day of filming. I came back, we went down for dinner, and then by the time it was about half 11, 12 o'clock, that's just my warning. By the time that it was midnight, I had to then edit 12 hours worth of footage, and you go to bed at like 3 a.m. But I was just a little bit disappointed with my audio more than anything during the McLaren P1, during some of the other videos that I was trying to make for you guys. And I just had all of these amazing ideas, video ideas that we were able to do, but just not how I would have liked to have done. So I've still got a way to go before I get exactly the right amount of camera equipment that I want to be able to make epic videos on Supercars of London, which I will do as soon as I get back to the UK. <laughs> in convoy I always feel like I'm concentrating on the car in front making sure that I'm the right distance away but also just making sure that I'm not sort of losing losing meters on them where if they're going a little bit faster I'm always concentrating on either the car in front or the car behind where because I'm just driving by myself it's incredibly chill and there are some beautiful views there is no denying that this is one of the best motorways that I've driven on Forget the M25, forget the M1. I don't even know which one this is called. I, I've seen it. It's like Ferrari. It just sounds like Ferrari. We've got incredible hill looking mountains or mountain looking hills. We've got the sea on that side. And then because this, this is the motorway that connects the south of France to the north of Italy, you get some incredible cars driving past as well. We just had a white Maserati MC Stradale drive past one Monaco plates, absolutely hooning it. And it's just amazing, it's so cool. What's that on the other side of the road? A Mercedes, the new SL, that's quite cool. Fuel economy on this car is actually pretty strong. I've got 290 miles left in my journey and my sat nav is telling me that I've got 360 kilometers, which pretty sure means that I'm gonna get to Bologna on one tank of fuel, which is impressive. Fuel economy on this car is very impressive nonetheless. It averages around 28 to 30 MPG, and that's in the town and on the motorway drive. <laughs> Missed the 
sunset chatting to you guys and now I'm trying to work out all of the buttons up here which is very similar to an aeroplane as to which one is the light so hopefully you can see me I have no idea where this light is shining from but I am loving the Italian motorways there is nothing better than a clear smooth tarmac motorway and an AMG GTS I'm an hour away from Bologna so I'm pushing on quite nicely I've just been using the wonderful entertainment system here to connect to the phone to speak to my girlfriend and I've just been catching up with her and it's so easy to use buttons on the steering wheel that come up on the screen there that is about as big as an iPhone 6s plus am I coming off here yep that was bloody lucky I just saw a sign for Bologna look down and it said in 200 meters you're turning off that could have added some time onto my journey it's been a really nice evening the sunset has been incredible the sun has set it over the Alps which currently is behind me now and yeah I did my best to capture all that I could um, but I've just been getting on with the journey and sort of having quite a lot of fun I've been having a little sing-song to currently Little Mix is playing on my Bluetooth Little Mix and Jason Derulo for all those wondering what I've been listening to <laughs> Oh man, that doesn't make me sound good. So, I think, based on my current GoPro battery, on to Bologna, no more updates, we've got an hour to go. I have got, give me two seconds, I'm going to my trip. I have got 211 miles left, but I've got 146 kilometers to go. So I've made it into the room. And I've got to be very quiet because um, it's late. I went to dinner straight away and I've come back up here now to edit the videos around midnight. So uh, I'm going to set myself up here, work away on this video, and then tomorrow we've got an epic day of checking out some of the craziest supercar factories.